Here at Cooters in Sperryville, Virginia, Confederate flags are quickly selling out. Customer Anna Gross says the flag, with its 13 stars representing the Confederate states, is an important symbol of the South's heritage. It's part of our ancestors that lived through it and fought for it. Her grandson, 18-year-old Jordan Hutchinson, agrees. I see it's part history. It's American history. For many, it's a personal history. That's a battle flag. That's not nothing to do with race. I had uncles, great uncles and grandparents that died in the Civil War. Cooter's owner, Ben Jones, is an outspoken proponent of the Confederate flag. You take one flag down, we will put two up. The former U.S. Democratic congressman played a mechanic named Cooter in the popular 1980s TV series, The Dukes of Hazard. His store carries mementos from the show and other souvenirs, some with the Confederate flag. Out front sits a replica of the famous car from the series, the General Lee, named after the commander of the Confederate Army. Reruns of the show were canceled in the U.S. after the church shooting, to the dismay of customer Michael Carnes, who thinks it's a backlash against the flag. The TV show was a great TV show, and it was nothing about anything racism or anything. It was just a good, wholesome, fun show. Jones is a national spokesman for the Sons of Confederate Veterans. He says the flag should not be erased from history because of racists. And in his words, one sick, evil person who misused it. And it doesn't represent the 80 million of us who are descended from the Confederacy. That person desecrated our flag. He says the flag is being used as a scapegoat. This is simply a left-wing national movement taking advantage of the shock and grief of that terrible incident to create a hysteria to culturally cleanse our culture. You can't do it. But opponents say the flag is not about culture. They say it represents racism and oppression and should come down everywhere. Anna Gross worries about that. I don't know if they're going to make it a law that none of us can have the flag around. You know, but you know what? We still have it inside our homes. Jones says the overreaction to the Confederate flag stifles freedom of expression, but it reminds others of a darker past that should be removed from America's present. Deborah Block, VOA News, Sperryville, Virginia.